Hey, it's Andrew Huang, and welcome to another episode of Super Fast. Challenge is to make a beat in an hour using only random YouTube videos as samples. I'm gonna send this tweet out. Everybody on Twitter is gonna tell me what search terms I should use in YouTube to find these random videos that we're gonna sample. We're gonna find those great, weird samples, those lit af samples, those those tasty samples. Oh, it got bright just now. And we're gonna use them to make our super fast Chunks, okay, we're searching for chunks. Filter by uh, upload date. Everything is food related. Lemon pepper chicken chunks. Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna go with the first result from, oh, 99 plus notifications, uh. Cake in the face. Cake in the face. Oh man, there's a lot of, I don't know that cake in the face is the type of video I wanna feature. Okay, here's, here's one where someone shoves their own face into a cake. Cake on the face. Ham sandwich. Let's do it. Subway ham and cheese sandwich ASMR. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Hitting fruit with a hammer. Ethan's seventh birthday hitting a watermelon. Got 194 views since three years ago. I guess hitting fruit with a hammer isn't a very popular search term. Yellow fire truck. Interesting. Okay, here's 11 second clip. Yellow fire truck in Honolulu, Hawaii. Gonna pick that one. Magic rocks. Science experiment, magic rocks for kids at home. That's so nice. Kids got a little fun science YouTube channel. Oh, pimple popping. No, no. Exploding microwave. Yeah, that should be good. All right. This will be our last sample we grab. Let's watch these videos. Test subject. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh no, the Chunks video has background music. All right, I'm just gonna have to deal with this background music in the Chunks video. I am gonna shove my face into this cake. Ham and cheese sandwich ASMR. Uh, hit that watermelon. Hit it again. <laughs> People got some good hobbies. Nice siren on the yellow fire truck. Best I could have hoped for. We got a lot of kids today. Background music. All right, well, this is gonna be a real challenge today, but let's download all these videos and let's go. It is so bright. <laughs> All right, all our videos are loaded up into Ableton. It's 5.33, I'm gonna give myself an hour, see what we can make. It's getting bright again. Okay, let's go. I am gonna shove my face into this cake. Yep, cake into face, face into cake, using that. This is a great laugh. <laughs> Watermelon smash and reaction. Oh, okay. all natural, go chop them up. Chop them up. Right there. Like that, mix that thing all up together. Oh, there's so much good stuff that he's saying about cooking that's gonna apply to beat making. Did I say beat making really weird just there? Beat making. Beat making. It's 539. Oh. Ready and this is so cute. Piano. Piano. Maybe. 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 Okay. We got a few drum ish sounds, maybe, that we can use. Oh, the ASMR. I hate when they have that, the plastic on the bottle. Keep going, keep going. Ooh. It's got a weird rhythm there. I'm gonna slow that down later and see what happens. Oh wait, that one. That's good, that's good. Oh, <laughs> I enjoy this sound and I also don't at the same time. Test subject, 100. 100. Oh. oh, why am I just doing an impression of everything in this video? Okay, 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 one more video to search. Oh yeah, fire truck, this would be easy. That's a rise. Okay, see what we can do. Where are we gonna start? Um, let's see what that rhythm is like. I'm gonna slow it down. That's a that's a groove. Let's get those kick drums in. I wanna get rid of a, one of the resonant frequencies in here. Good enough. What's our kick pattern gonna be? Like uh boom boom. Actually, that would be a good spot for a snare, a little more like boom. Let's do it. Let's get all these snare and clap layers in. A bunch more claps are gonna go in that exact rhythm. And I'm putting these on without the grid just to like get a real kind of live sloppy clap feel. Oh, it's 5.56. How long has that been? 23 minutes? Hi-hat. Let's do it. Gonna filter out all the low end from that sound. Pitch shift this up a bit. See what this feels like. Let's get into the melodic stuff. Welcome, boy. 
that's gonna be a bass sound. Put some bass amp distortion on this. <laughs> Anyone else here genuine? Sorry, I couldn't resist. But how, what can we make my own bass line? Uh, now all I hear is pony and I've ruined this for myself. Boom, 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 boom. It's still a little pony inspired, but I'm fine with that. Take me to court. Please don't. I got 21 minutes left. I'm feeling okay about this. It's just a loop, but can we make it more interesting? Oh, the cake face. I mean, it's not even that great of a sound. It's just such a great image. I just... I just want to see this kid rhythmically smash his face into a cake. I want to drop these funny lines in too, though. Drop it up. Put a little delay on this guy. Right there, like that. Right here, like that. Oh man, nine minutes left. It always creeps up on you. There were a couple sounds I did really want to get in there. The riser. Add that to the intro. Oh. Yeah, wait, that O needs to go in somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. I wanted to add a echo to this. Not really a crash symbol, but a little impact. Volume up, fade it out, mega reverb. Oh yeah! Oh, one minute left. What, what else can I add? Uh, I wanted that scream. We'll just put it after the siren. Okay. I did want to add some melody to this, but we're not going to get there. It is a pretty cool loop on its own though. It's 6.33, here's what I got. Hi, kids! This is Andrew from the future. I have made a longer version of that beat now and I'll put it on my Patreon whenever this video goes out. I wanted to do two other things today and uh, the first one is kind of a synthesizer innovation. It's pretty exciting, let me show you. This is the WTF oscillator from Dove Audio. WTF in this case standing for Window Transform Function, which is the main feature of this module and it's an interesting thing that I haven't seen before in synthesis. So check this out, you can sweep between 32 different waveforms. But that's just the front waveform, and you may have noticed there's also a rear waveform, which similarly you can sweep, but you don't hear that right now, and you won't hear it until you open the window. And there's even a dual mode where there are two evenly spaced windows. I really like having the window open and shifting both waves at once. Just constantly creating new waveforms. So it's great for creating music with a lot of morphing textures. prototype that I have, but I wanted to support Paula, the creator of this module. I met her in Brighton. Uh, I don't know if you remember from my tattooed video. Went to Brighton, awesome synth meetup, and I met Paula there. She's made other synthesizers before, but this is her first module, and it's really awesome. So I will link to her Kickstarter in the description. It's got a lot of other features that I didn't go over, but that window transform thing is kind of the uh, cool part. Actually, I need to show you what happens. Uh, Paula put a custom startup screen in there. I did not ask for this, she just put it in there. I'm turning on the power. Hey-oh! It's really hot today, I'm starting to sweat. 
Ah, the last thing for today is a discussion question. A couple videos ago, right at the end, I snuck in this discussion question, and it's just an idea that I had to make the comments section a little bit more valuable, maybe a little bit more of a place where we can build community. Right now, it's a really lovely place where I can go if I want to read about how much you love my music or how much you hate my music, but I think there's a way we could maybe make it a bit more meaningful, so I just thought I'd throw these discussion questions out every couple videos, something about music making or creativity, topics where I don't have a final answer that I would make a video about, but where I would want to hear from a variety of perspectives. And I think a lot of you would have really interesting insights. I think we could all learn from each other and Maybe some of you would become friends through this. I don't know, that would be cool. I would just love to facilitate some thought-provoking discussion around the kind of stuff that's floating through my content anyway about making music, making art, the creative process. So uh, kind of in line with today's video, I thought I would ask today, does knowing how fast a piece of art was created affect your perception of it? If it was created super fast, if it took a long time, does that change its value or its legitimacy? Does it change how you assess its quality? Let me know what you think in a comment. I'm looking forward to jumping into that. And thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.